Welcome back to the National Scholastic Indoor Track and Field Championships. Tony Revis along with Carol Lewis. And we move to the Sprint Medley Relay in lane four from Philadelphia, William Penn High School. William Penn has always had an excellent team. And I'll tell you, Tony, when I was a youngster, Tim Hickey was the coach there, and he's still there today. 200 meters, 200, then 400, then the 800. That makes up the Sprint Medley Relay. The competition for William Penn, who's in lane four, will come from Long Beach Poly in lane one, and St. Bernard's again in lane three in the all black. Well, right now, you really can't see how the race is opening up. The girls are starting from a stagger as they're handing off to Nefertiti Cooper, the 10th grader from William Penn High School. The national record they're going for, four minutes flat, .05, set by George Washington High School out of New York in 1995. And right now, you see St. Bernard's moving up very well, and there is Long Beach Poly on the inside in the green. The third leg, Angel Patterson, the junior, takes it for William Penn, and Boomy Ungale, a junior for Long Beach Poly. And now we're moving into the 400-meter leg. And at this point, the favorite, William Penn, is back in third position, but has an excellent athlete in Angel Patterson. Long Beach Poly still looking good in second position, but it is St. Bernard's who is leading the way at this point. William Penn didn't think they could win the 4x200 or the 4x4, so they really did load up here in the sprint medley relay. And now we're going into the final lap of the women's sprint medley relay. And while we were away, William Penn has moved into the lead with Yvonne Anderson running their anchor leg and Long Beach Poly right behind with Angelita Green. Green's a freshman. Anderson is a junior. And again, we come into at this age in life, every six months seems like a generation. So two years means a lot in far as strength, maturity, and experience. And now the gap is starting to open up as Anderson begins to pull away from Angelina Green. And William Penn placing all her tags in this basket, pays it off at the finish line with a new national record. In fact, two teams under four minutes for the first time in history. Well, I'll tell you, that last leg was a very strong leg. Yvonne Anderson, 2-12-55, and Angelina Green, 2-11. But this was a turning point. Angel Patterson turning in a 53-83 to put William Penn in the lead. Well, let's go to... Well, Angel, yours was the key leg. You feel any pressure coming from behind? Well, our coach showed us that we could win the race and we just run, up, run how we're supposed to run. I was kind of nervous and I had to pass the second, the girl from um, California. And I just passed her, had it was on my first, and then she did what she had to do. You know, it was, a, I mean, not only did you win, but you had you had, to, had to break the record in order to win. What was that last leg like? Uh, was, I mean, I think it was the most difficult race I ever ran because I didn't want to let my team down. I wanted to win. So it was a lot of, I felt like it was, I put a lot of pressure on myself. And I'm just happy that I came through. Well, there you have it, the official results. William Penn, new national record, 3 minutes, 56.67. Also... Long Beach Poly with a time under four minutes.